Last year's winner, Adrian Heavey of Tullow Oil, is well used to competing on the global stage. Last May, he journeyed to the glittering Grimaldi hometown of Monte Carlo as Ireland's hope at the World Entrepreneur of the Year competition. The 2005 Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year is Aidan Heavey. Last year, oil baron Aidan Heavey became the Irish Entrepreneur of the Year. His company, Tullow, is the largest independent oil company in Europe. And the same sense of adventure that prompted the Roscommon man to establish Tullow Oil in the 80s finally brought him to the glittering Mediterranean last June, where he represented Ireland at the World Entrepreneur of the Year Summit. It is important that Irish people are here. It's important that the representatives of the Irish entrepreneurship get here, meet all the people. See all the, the different stories. You come here and you meet people who have set up enormous companies. It's fascinating. It broadens your experience. Ireland was the smallest of the 32 countries represented at the World Entrepreneur of the Year. But Aidan's unique story generated huge media interest at the event. This peak oil argument is so interesting because once we get into a world where we have peaked and we're going down... Aidan em embodies what true entrepreneurship is about. Uh, he comes from a country with no oil industry. He has no experience in the oil industry. He never worked in it. It is a phenomenal achievement for an Irish entrepreneur to be running a very significant, independent, global oil company. I have a sense that Ireland is respected for its entrepreneurship. I, I have a sense that people like Aidan Heavey, I have a sense people like Dennis O'Brien, Maya Doherty, those great entrepreneurs, Pori Gokeda, these people hold their own with any entrepreneurs I see here. In the early days in Ireland, we probably looked at entrepreneurs as a bit of a chancers, you know, that uh, there were guys who were out there trying to do the odd deal. Um, now it's big business. and. You know, it is, it is the future, you know, it's the future of all the economies. You know, if, if we can get more entrepreneurs, more businesses, it's more employment, it's more work, it's more taxes, you know, that's the way to go. And so, on a balmy evening in June, the World Entrepreneur of the Year was revealed. And an Irishman did take the world title. 2006, first and young, World Entrepreneur of the Year, Bill Lynch. After emigrating from Kerry, Bill Lynch took a struggling Johannesburg motor dealership and turned it into a multi-billion euro group. With operations in Africa, Australia and Europe, the judges were hugely impressed by this Irishman abroad. I feel elated. I'm very happy about it. It's the first time such a big honour has been bestowed on me in such a big way and that I've met so many press people and everybody uh, congratulating me. So it's, uh, it's great. Tonight, Aidan relinquishes his title, and one of the 24 finalists will be chosen to follow in his footsteps and represent Ireland next year at the World Summit.